Live from the Crystal Meth Strip Club capital of the Pacific Northwest, you're listening to Portland Sucks Radio. Now, here's your esteemed host, the Sultan of Scandalous Sarcasm, the incomparably incompetent Robert Wagner. <laughs> This is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello, everybody. How are y'all doing this evening? <laughs> are you a little frustrated with us, Dr. Normal? Uh, again, not us. Oh, look, I'm pumpkin orange. Oh, <laughs> Earlier shit. you were lavender. Hey, it's the season. Yeah, it is. It's on, Halloween. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Are you, are you going to adjust your camera or should I maybe I just consider did. introducing our guest? Uh, just a second. Okay. My camera is adjusted mm-hmm. and we should introduce the guest. Why are you wearing sunglasses? Me? Who no, me? Her. Oh. I'm wearing sunglasses because our guest is wearing sunglasses, and I knew that Doctor Normal would be wearing sunglasses, and I thought, gee, in this instance, I'm going to be a joiner. And I don't our guest be the... is our guest is PDX sucks. Robert it's Robert Wagner. Wagner. Hello. Hi. Why are you wearing sunglasses? A severe hangover from Bacon Fest. All right, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> See. Thank you. I'm trying to. Not achieve... everybody. <laughs> Um, how was Bacon Fest? It was it was a delight. Yeah, it was huge. Tell me about the bacon eating contest. Yeah, the bacon eating contest was cool. There was um, I believe there was either eight or ten contestants, and we had mm-hmm. them all lined up on the stage. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, I got picked like at the last minute to MC the whole thing. It's the radio voice. Is it? It is. It was weird. It yeah. was. I really wish they would have clarified some of the rules for me because I kept having to. Okay, now what? But. Yeah, we had um, oh, quite a few different people, and one professional eater from I think he came from Seattle. A professional eater. Yeah, like a guy who like literally what? like goes around and does this like a lot. Like a pro am golf guy was, or something. Was he a big gentleman? No, 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 no. I mean, he was probably the most fit guy at the whole fest. And he was a professional eater. Professional What's consumer of lots of food. Wow. Like record holder the whole bit. Wow, it's too bad that um, Raven is a vegetarian because he's actually pretty good at the eating too all right so anyway continue with the story i'm sorry so we had them all lined up mm-hmm. and there was i believe five rounds mm-hmm. the rules were for the first well all rounds except for the final round it was just all you have to do is finish what What's you're given your okay. yeah and then the final round was was a timed um timed consumption whoever finishes first bingo you win the idea being that we can eliminate people along the way and for starters, it was a it was like a triple decker BLT mm-hmm. that um, actually there was one person barely made it through it. One person didn't make it at all. Mm-hmm. Um, second round was so right off the get go, you got rid of one person. Yeah, okay. And there was, I mean, it was like you know half a head of lettuce in each one. I mean, it was a, a substantial sandwich. Did I anyone have a I Roman like incident? Wait, wait, wait. That might be oh. later. Shh, wait. <laughs> Um, the story. Second round was peeps covered in bacon salt. <laughs> covered in bacon salt. Okay. Yeah. That's doable. Um, How many? Four. Okay. That's a lot of peeps. Yeah. it's And that, that got a lot of people turning kind of green because mm-hmm. it's, it's pretty gross. Yeah. Um, nobody got eliminated there. After that was, I think, a banana wrapped in bacon, which actually is pretty Ew. good. Yeah. I don't like bananas. The texture. Yeah. They're... I like bacon, though. I, you know. All right, continue. Then, actually, I may have it backwards, but there was there was also a Voodoo Donut Maple Bacon Bar. Mm-hmm. And then the final round was Bacon Ice Cream, which was just ice cream. Well, what? it was Superman Ice Cream, which is, I don't even know what it tastes like. It's like blue and red and yellow, mm-hmm. the colors of Superman, yeah. with bacon chips in it. 
Mm. And that was like the speed round. You know, first person to, to finish it was. I'll have to tell you about my bacon ice cream. Continue. That was the speed round, the first person to finish it. Yeah, it was declared winner. Wow. Was there a Roman incident? No. No? no. That's good. Because that is unsettling. Who won? Actually, um, the organizer of the event, Emily Gibson from the Meat Show, actually won. <laughs> she was um, actually had paced herself throughout the other rounds Mm -hmm. and actually won. I mean, technically she was not eligible to win anything Yeah, because she's, you know, you can't really throw an event and then win yourself. I mean, nobody comes back if you do that, but no, no, the, in fact, the guy, he was down to my left, the professional eater guy. Mm -hmm. He was pretty pissed off Yeah, because he just, you know, that, that was the deal. I said, you know, okay, everybody just, you know, when you're done, slam your bowl down. She had slammed her bowl down jumped off the stage into the crowd, turned around and went like, you know, just, yeah. Ta-da! You know, before he slammed his bowl down and he was just, well, well, I've been robbed. But, yeah, she won. I mean, clearly won, but we gave him the prize. He got a, won a grill or something. Nice. Yeah. What is your favorite bacon dish? Bacon and eggs, really. I mean, I like it simple. Yeah. yeah I don't like to mess up the bacon. Yeah. Yeah. Bacon by itself. I do like bacon by itself. I also, I make a rumaki version without the liver. Mm. So it's just the the bacon and the water chestnuts and the garlic and soy sauce and then cooked. It's I'm weird about water chestnuts though. You don't like water chestnuts? No, that's, they're weird. It's like crunchy nothing. They I don't like they don't it. taste like anything. That's why you have to marinate them. Oh, see, nobody's because ever done that. They're a perfect I mean, carrier for whatever you marinate them in. Delivery device. Next time you're here, I'm gonna make. The rumaki without the chicken liver with the water chestnuts that are marinated, and then you'll understand. No, let's see that. I it think, wouldn't be the first time I'd made it for the show. I think you're the first person, actually, I've ever met that likes water chestnuts. I love water chestnuts. I like them in my oh, stir fry. I'll but lo- always marinate. I always marinate them before I cook them. I uh, see a lot of people don't know what I'm talking about when I say water chestnuts. Really? It's like they're, they're those crunchy white things. Oh, yeah. Ew. No, I love the water chestnuts. But well, you, let's crack over the can right them. now. I don't. I think I ate the last can. Oh, if you, if otherwise, I would make them. When uh, Kavitin, well, from bacon bacon dot com, right? Bacon is it bacon dot com? Yeah, yeah. B a c n. Uh, when he was on the show, we made him the the rumaki, and then I also made mm. him um, a pancetta and ice cream dish. Wow. Yeah, it was good. Wow. Yeah, the pancetta was just to throw in some other stuff. We don't give our guests anything. Yeah, I don't usually give my guests anything yeah. but a drink. You well, we could have done Although that I once here, made... but you were coming off the bacon fest. Yeah, we, we didn't we... know. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to be eating for a while. <laughs> yeah, hey, no. Robert, hey, you want to But you know what? Bake lava This dish? is the sick, the sick thing. So last year, Kavitin had what was called Master Bacon. Right. And everyone brought these bacon dishes, and I was one of the judges. And I ate at least a small bite, in some cases more than that, of it. All like what? It, do you know how many dishes there were? There were like thirty or forty. There were like somewhere. Like I was like thirty-four, something like that. Yeah. Wow. I ate a bite of every single dish, and there were some that I had a second piece of because outstanding. And then I came home, and I was like, I'm never eating bacon again. But Doctor Normal had competed, and he had cooked up my favorite kind of bacon, which is this. Was it is it applewood smoked? Yes. It's this super super thin slice like paper thin sliced applewood smoked bacon and there was a bunch of it left that he hadn't used in his dish which was a baklava like a baklava dish with bacon it had to be thin sliced though and so i uh, i came home and ate like five pieces of bacon just by themselves because no one had presented me with just bacon. plain bacon yeah. and so i had to eat the bacon and then the next day i had a blt with avocado we were eating bacon all week I, I really thought that I was going to be like, I will never eat bacon again, but no. No, it's weird. I think that um, we didn't have, I mean, we had a lot of bacon, Mm -hmm. but there was people that were coming by that were saying, well, yeah, where do you get bacon? You know, I just want just bacon. It's like, well, it's right over there. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't know that. Well, then you didn't ask. But no, we had um, Parker's Waffles came and they had uh, bacon waffles. Mm -hmm. Was the bacon in the waffles? You mean like in the batter? Yeah. No. Okay. No, it was this weird kind of taco-y looking waffle concoction with bacon in it. Oh, like a bacon waffle sandwich. Yeah. Kind it was of good. It was okay. really good. Yeah, they were um, lining up for those things. Yeah. Yeah, really good. We, um, I think I gave some to some of the bands. I think, actually, I, now that I think about it, I think I owe them money. <laughs> um, He'll pay you later. Yeah. Maybe they the didn't mention that. The check's in the mail. 
<laughs> hey, you got bacon, right? Come on, guys. We fed That's you. more than you get on most gigs. Yeah, really. It's all good. So, uh, how many bands were there? Um, if I remember right, five. But I don't remember much cool. after about five. Oh my god! So <laughs> that's like two and a half hours after it started. Did it start at two thirty? Started at three. So two hours after it started, you don't remember much? No, no, no. It's bad. Well, I spent. We had a generator issue uh. at three o'clock when it started, and so I spent from three to four o'clock working around that. By the time I was done, I was just ready just to try bacon beer. Had a bacon, bacon beer? beer? Yeah. Have you okay. had that? I don't, no, I don't drink. I don't, I'm not a beer drinker. I'm not really either, but yeah. I was yesterday. So had that. It smelled like bacon, but it didn't really taste like bacon at all. It just tastes like beer. Yeah. I mean, all beer kind of tastes the same. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything for me. That's yeah. like blasphemy in this place too. So, uh, no, no. Here's to blasphemy. Yes, exactly. I'm not a. Mm. Yeah. The beer that I've liked the most in the whole wide world was a beer that does apparently doesn't taste anything like beer. It was more like drinking water with alcohol in it. What's that? It was Pabst. It was Pabst. I'd oh, never had a Pabst until I went to a roller derby bout, and then a uh, kale martini bought me a Pabst, and I drank the whole thing because hmm. it tasted kind of like water. Yeah, you guys are all like it was good though. I enjoyed hard it. Liquor drinkers. Right? I like. I you like the hard liquor guys out there. Mama likes the, your booze. Uh, Vic, what's the name of those guys? We've met them before. Victory? No. The vodka guys weren't they? Oh uh, like oh the oh, oh yeah, we're the vodka guys. Um, something. Oh, God. oh, there was New Deal. New, New Deal, Deal vodka. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Did they have New their vodka? Were they there? Yeah. Did they yeah. have the pepper vodka? The like the hot pepper vodka? I don't know. I never went over to their booth. I oh, feel terrible too. Big mistake. Yeah. They've got this like chili vodka or hot pepper vodka of some kind, and they mix it with uh, pineapple juice. And at first, I was kind of appalled. I was like, "Please don't mix mine with pineapple juice." And they said, "Okay, why don't you go ahead and try it regular, but then try it with the pineapple juice?" So I did. It's freaking amazing. It's huh. really, I- really good. We went to pick it up. I think I think we went there the day before, mm-hmm. and I thought, "Wow, this is really cool." They just gave us. We just walked in here. We're like, you know, nobody checks anything. You just go in there. It's like, yeah, here's three cases of this stuff. See you guys later. Nice. Have fun. I think I'm gonna try that like next Monday or something. Just walk in and see. Yeah, say, hey, I'm here to pick up the vodka. I'm here to get the vodka for the thing. Yeah, and then we had uh, bacon vodka was there too. <laughs> no, bacon fest is this weekend, guys. You, yeah, that's you right. must have been no, robbed last weekend been, by yeah, some imposter. I don't imposter. know who those guys were. Yeah. Right? I just need a case of this for Bacon Fest. <laughs> I wonder if we could get New Deal Vodka to week. give us vodka okay. for Strange of Live. Capiche? Although we all know that I really probably shouldn't drink vodka before I do a show. We just told them it was a charity thing. It makes me hostile. Yeah. I think that I think that made it okay with them. Really? And it was a charity thing. Booze so. for charity. Well, Booze you guys, how much food did you collect? Oh, God. I found out later it was like... Um, eight hundred pounds, I think. Nice. Yeah, it was it was really good. We ended up with way more food. We were kind of reluctant to even have a second barrel there because we didn't think it was going to be that much. But did yeah. you overflow? Oh yeah, yeah. There was two full barrels, and then it was just it was everywhere. That's fantastic. I kind of wonder what happened to it, actually. Don't they pick it up? Yeah, but I'm not sure when they picked it up, or you know who moved it out of the street. Because I know I drove um... by later. And I thought, well, there was just a whole bunch of food here. But yeah, people were really good about that, though. That makes me happy. Yeah. No, I I like that. Now, I have to note, we just did the tech episode. Mm. We were incredibly well-behaved. Yeah. There was good behavior. Yeah. There was appropriate conversation. There was a complete fucking lack of profanity. Yeah. Was there? Is there like a button you guys hit or what? How do you, how do you guys work that here? After hours, no beeping. <sighs> okay. But what if somebody does during the tech show? Then he goes and beeps it afterwards. Oh, does he? Yeah, I mean, during the live stream, stream it's not a big deal because you you're just live streaming. Right. But the whole thing is, I think, for iTunes, he doesn't want to put the explicit tag on the right. on the tech it's just episode. The iTunes and the and then cable on cable, it goes thing. on cable, and he doesn't oh, cable. What's hmm. the cable? Oh, we love cable. Hey, we love cable. Although, Cable's good. I just Cable's... gotta wonder. We love you, cable. Hi, is it this camera? Hey. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Anyone. Are you with me, camera guy? Are doesn't you with matter. me? Where am I? <laughs> Um, no, we this love is a cable. really wonky Friday night live show that we're doing here. It's been a long week. Intense. I'm really tired. <sighs> yeah, it's yeah. <clears throat> or it could be Sunday, or and not. I could be tired. I mean, yeah. Either way, I'm worthless right now. It's podcasting. So, um, I I totally lost my you thought. Had a thing? I was, yeah. Well, we started talking about bleeping, and 
I thought you. Oh, I know what it was. You guys wanted to talk profanity, so uh, there's only I was one word that I bleep. Local radio. There's only radio. one word that I like to bleep on, <laughs> what the, about local on radio? the show. <laughs> and radio business in general. That should spark. You want to talk about radio? <laughs> I don't What's think that's that? a good idea. What's radio? Why is it a good idea to talk about radio right now? Uh, you know what I didn't get I to know. do um, at the end of the tech episode was say who's on the show next week. Okay. Will Raddick is on the show next That's week. That's right. He's talking about the the. It's like MST three K kind of yeah crazy like that. movie stuff that he's I like doing. That stuff. I'm doing that like in November. I think. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Wow. I'm happy about it. You should be with Will. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know Will? No. You've not, met him. Not directly. Have no. you met him? No, never met him. Oh my gosh. Never met him. Will's a good guy. We like him. We have an excellent Christmas episode with Will Raddick. He brought me a marabou, fuzzy feather marabou that. to hang on my tree. I saw that. I wore a Santa negligee. Mm-hmm. Wow, Christmas is coming, isn't it? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, break out those decorations <laughs> I, I now. I need to make some plans. I need to decorate the house for What do you got planned for Christmas at PDX FM? Anything? Ooh, PDX.FM. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know. I did that wrong. I'm wait, sorry. wait, hold on. PDX. PDX.FM. Please say that. PDX.FM. Do I really sound that like a cartoon character? No, just he I does. can do Sabrina, too. Housekeeping. <laughs> you do really bad impressions. Oh, wait. <laughs> Dr. Norm, please do your Robert impression. No. <laughs> really? It was the worst impression you'd ever done. Yeah, and it was so bad, the host changed his intro the next day. <laughs> <laughs> what was that all of? It's like, yeah, I'm changing this up, man. I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, we played that a couple times. We thought that was pretty funny. That was oh, good. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that was... Nobody's ever done that before. No one's ever impersonated you before? Well, I don't know. Maybe they do. They don't tell us it. about it. They're not putting out podcasts about it. I know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They should. I wish they would. I wonder if people, like, impersonate me behind my back or something. We impersonate a couple of our own get our own hosts. Yeah? Oh, yeah, all the time. Um, the guy that does Hike Yeah, his name's Alex. He didn't even realize he was doing this, but we he always starts out every show. He's like, hey, folks, this is Alex. Hike yeah. Hike yeah. Yeah. And it's just, you can't help but do it after you've heard it a few times. So we pointed out to him and he stopped doing it. Oh, you think, need your signature thing. Yeah, he has to. But yeah, that's his, um, We uh, after Bacon Fest, that's what it was, we went to the Bacon Fest after party, which was at Sassy's. Mm-hmm. And makes sense. Yeah, Alex is this guy that's like I mean, He's like I don't even know how to describe him. He's like the nicest guy in the world. He's like six foot three, early twenties, just a great guy. And to take that guy to Sassy's was just like quite an experience. But yeah, we're just you know, hey folks, this is an erection. You know, just <laughs> tr- it was just wild. He's just at one point he got in trouble. One of the bouncers. um Ran over and kind of yelled at him because, um, yeah, we were by one of the stages and this one of the strippers comes and like kind of dips back and he kind of went like this. Oh boy, <laughs> it was just like no touching, yeah. What it was just weird, yeah. Uh, there's no touching. Hey, stripper, this is finger. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was cool though. Carabiner and yeah. some crampons, yeah. And okay, crampons else. sounded like something completely else. That's technical terminology. I know it's a technical term, but yeah. it sounds like tampons, no matter how oh, you slice it. Geez. What's your problem? I'm a girl. I'm allowed to say tampons. Tampon, you, tampon, tampon. What are you guys drinking tonight? Should we do that? <laughs> I've never said that on the show before. I almost want Dr. Norman to bleep that. I'm kind of horrified that I said that. Tampons? Yeah. I don't like saying tampons. <laughs> There's just something really weird about it. I don't, I don't I, even I, like... I don't feel like I've earned the right to say tampons. Uh, I don't even feel like I've earned the right to say it. I'm not even... I'm You're just, right. You haven't. You have to actually be doing a commercial to say tampons. If you're not doing a commercial, it should just go so, or mass and go. Uh, speaking of tampons, what are we drinking tonight? Martinis. Martinis. All right. That was a quick mm. one. What is? How does that They're not dirty, though. To... Wait, they're not dirty. Oh. We're drinking dry martinis because I'm out of olive juice. Oh, really? We need to check with the liquor store and see if they just sell the olive juice, brine, yeah. whatever. Because Kale Martini told me okay. that yeah. she gets it for share or something. All right. Just the juice. The share? No. Her uh, wife, Cher. Oh. Uh, yeah. Is she still oh, alive? Cool. Cher? No. Which Cher? So. The one with the butterfly in her ass? I don't think she's dead yet. Cher has a butterfly in her ass. Haven't you ever seen MTV? She did the sailor video with the fishnets and the giant butterfly tattoo on her ass. Uh, if she could turn back time. 
Was that the video? I don't know. Yeah. Is it, I'm what? uncomfortable. I'm even more uncomfortable talking about her than I was about talking about tampons. Is, is she one of those? <laughs> has naturally <laughs> with wings. That's Jesus true. shit on oh, the with wings? Yeah. <laughs> what? What are you? What are those wings for? By the way, as a know. woman. Would you like me to tell you what I, I think know. of I've them personally, or what they're supposed before, to be? Okay, so. tampons don't have wings. Pads have wings. And I think they're horrible. What they're supposed to do... Oh, minute, God, Wasn't this that is gross. Red Bull that gave Hold you on. wings? I have to set my drink down because this is really horrific. Wait a minute. This is the reason that as a woman I wear tampons. I don't like dealing with messes. The oh. wings are to wrap around your underwear so that if it spills over the side, you don't get blood on your undies. Man. I thought it was a hold it in place. No, there's a plastic, there's adhesive on the bottom of it to hold it in place. This is why I wear tampons. Because that is just too goes fucking nights. disgusting. Oh my! Uh, ugh. Hmm. Someone changed the subject. It's the growth. Ca- growth. Oh, ugh. No. I can't even say it. The gross cast. You know what? Look, Mm-mm. here's the thing. Someone talk about something else. I got the alcohol sweats. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like need really blot? bad. Here, blot. Yeah. There you go. Blot. It's the content. I need my sunglasses like, back. Uh, Doctor and I was going to have to get them for me so I don't have to go. No, it's that weird hair of the dog thing where it's like you just spent like the last 10 hours drinking and then you do it again and bingo. Yeah. Nice. It instantly hits. I'm killing him with kindness and I gym. could make a lifestyle out of this. Hey, Dr. Normal, can you give me my sunglasses? Our or, show goes Or I'm going to stand up and go get them. Okay. I'll get them. Okay. I'll use my wings. Oh, jeez. Come on. I'm a lady. Damn it. Treat me as such. can't talk like that in here. That's better. It's really bright. Once you put the sunglasses on under these lights, it's really bright when you take them off. Yeah, I don't. I, I made bad. it back. Okay, so PDX sucks. Yeah. Yes. Give me the formula for the normal episode of PDX sucks. I mean, how do we do it? Well, I mean, I've watched you do the show. Yeah. What is it normally? I mean, do you go in? Do you know what you're going to talk about? Um, we'll have like a sheet with like five bullet points. Uh huh. That's a. And are they fuck this, fuck that, fuck no, the other no, no, thing? No, no, no. I mean, usually. And just... go timbers. Yeah, and go timbers. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have that. Go timbers. No, usually the bullet points are just like things that we have to recall. Like you know, some asshole will write this weird email that just makes no sense at all and doesn't mm-hmm. get what we're talking about. And... How many of those asshole emails are from Doctor Normal? Three. Okay. Just, just three. He'll so enjoy that later. When he, he thinks yeah. I don't know that. <laughs> I know he has his old, little pseudonyms yeah. that he uses, and he's a troublemaker. Yeah. One, my favorite one was, I think it was Tushy Toucher or something like that. Touch, touch and Tushy. Or, <laughs> that was my favorite. And then what? we get a lot of really weird whack job people emailing. Yeah? Yeah, just people that are like think we're political or something. It's like, we're not political at all. But yeah, all these really strange like conservatives. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, okay, great. I don't, if you're that conservative, why are you listening to uh, the, the foul mouth obscenity show in the first place? Which is, you know, it's not really actually what I call it, but, but anytime, so I'll you'd be sitting in the other room and Dr. Arm will be sitting at his computer and I will hear your voice come on and I will mm. say, you need to put your headphones on. Yeah. Put well, your headphones yeah, on you know. if you want to listen. To, I have a seven year old. Yeah. You got which kids. is, it's not like I'm censoring. Robert, for me, I'm like, uh, put your headphones on. Robert's not allowed to talk in the house. <laughs> yeah, and you know, I I think of it as being like the opposite of like conservative radio, mm-hmm. because in conservative radio they do, you know, they they spew out all this stuff about you know, whatever political problem they have that week, which usually is the same old thing over and over again. But mm-hmm. it's like the opposite of that. It's like, well, so we just sit and talk shit Actually, about you. The opposite of that would be being like really nice to people and not saying bad things about other people. Yeah, you're right. Because they're really kind of vicious. Like they are. Well, yeah, I still my favorite still the whole Obama's racist thing. That's that's a beautiful pet peeve of mine right now. I'm right now freaking out because apparently this has been out for a long time. But earlier in the week, I walked into the living room and my daughter was watching something and there was a commercial for the Obama Chia. And then the Washington Chia and maybe a Jefferson Chia, like presidential Chias. And I thought that like she had turned on Saturday Night Live or something yeah, during like, the day. And I was like, what the? Yeah, no, it's real. What? And then I told Dr. Normal and he was like, yeah, that's been out for months now. Like since Obama was inaugurated. And I was like, no, really, they can't do that. They can't do that, can they? 
He was like, yes. And they did. I think that's the reason there's other ones, too. I think they started I, with the Obama one, and they figured, well... That's iffy. we got to temper this with... Because now we're implying that he might have a bro. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, the white the white people cheer. You have to have that. If you don't I have the white a, people cheer, well, then you're picking on the Obama. We had a chia pet once. I think it's actually an alien pod. Uh, have you ever seen a chia pet grow? Yeah. Oh, it's I had one. It's the most horrifying thing ever. They stink after a while, too. They do. and Yeah, they smell really bad. Like just, an old fish tank. It's just spreading the seeds on there. It's like harvesting alien babies. Yeah. Well, it's like sea monkeys. I don't have sea monkeys. Have Aren't you ever just had little brine shrimp? Something? I don't know. I never. I I could never see. No, them. I've never had sea monkeys because they freak me out. Oh, I thought I always thought they just sold you like salt in a little bag or something. And here yeah. it is. It's sea monkeys. Really, just dump it in there. You know, like, I'm kind of freaked out by anything that's got its own habitat. Like yeah. anything that you have to like have an enclosed habitat for really freaks me out. If it can't like live in the world with me, then I'm not really sure I need it around. So there's like an entire section of pet smart you don't like them. Yeah. Same I had here. a rat once, but I didn't make my rat live in its cage very much. I mean, really? I put it in the cage at nighttime so it wouldn't crawl into my bed or anything. But during the day, you know, it kind of hung out in the apartment, sat on my shoulder and stuff. Yeah, I, I think when they're hairy, they don't bother me as much. Uh-huh. When it's like, you know, a habitat animal yeah. and it's hairy, yeah. that's that's cool. When it's like lizards and stuff like that, I just don't... I, just, eh. I used to have an iguana. Actually, my, my ex-boyfriend had an iguana. But it got lost in the house, and they could never find it, and then it freaked me out. Like, if I knew where it was, it was cool. Yeah. But y- You have your space, I have mine. Exactly. Yeah. And, and but no. But, yeah, sea monkeys, I'm not, you know, fish tank's okay in a doctor's office. I don't want a fish tank in my house, though, because that's like a whole habitat that I feel like God. Because you really are. I mean, as a fish tank owner, you're God. You're playing God with those fish. You've made your own little ocean. Yeah, and yeah. that creeps me out. I don't want that kind of responsibility. I can't have that karmic cloud hanging over me. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, when they're sharing your own space, like mm-hmm. a cat or a dog or something, it's fine. But... Yeah. Now, my sister had fish. It was the last time I had fish was, well, I didn't even have them. It was my sister's fish. But she was, I don't even know. It was like when she was a kid. Mm-hmm. And she's, what, I think I'm six years older than she is. And she ended up feeding them taffy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry. That's yeah, not funny. that's it's <laughs> it, really bad stuff happens if you feed a fish taffy. anything, anything you're not supposed yeah. to feed them. But I mean, particularly taffy. I mean, it was it was creepy what happens. And now don't try that at home. Yeah, my brother um, had a pet fish. Its name was Garfield. He overfed it. Yeah, did it explode? It died from being a big fat just fish. Kind of, eh. Yeah, it just kind of got fatter and fatter and fatter, and then it floated. And yeah, people. that's the sad thing about fish, really, is they're almost as entertaining when they're dead as they are when they're alive. I found Garfield more entertaining when he was dead. Yeah, I mean, because they just, hey, you're in there. You're still in the water. Mm-hmm. You're still moving just as little. Now I don't have to feed you. Yeah. You're cheaper, easier. Yeah. I was always amazed, though, that, like, the whole, and and parents do this with fish and with hamsters and things. The hamster dies, you don't want to tell the kid, and you run out and buy the fish or hamster that looks just like it. I don't think that you should own a pet that is that interchangeable, that is that dispensable. I don't think you should have kids that are that dumb. That's true. That's kind of where I'm coming from. That is really true. We um, used to put the hamster on the turntable. The record? Yeah, he'd just go and go and go. He loved the thing. Did he throw up? No. No, he never did. He ended up... Amazing equilibrium. Yeah, well... We think. I mean, how challenging is it to really stand up, you know, when you have four legs and, you know, you're only this far off the ground? Well, I don't know, because the tilt whirl makes me a little nauseous. Yeah. <laughs> I have that problem, too. I have that problem right now more than any time, but... No, well, I, I find that, know, like, the older the I get... the bacon fest in the gym. Yeah, it is. It really is. Don't don't puke on my couch, man. No, I'll, I'll run over there really quick. All right, that's good. That's a promise. I like promises you that you can that. keep. What's in that class? Is it scotch? Oh, you're talking to me. Yeah. It should be a Friday night. Look at this. It is Friday night. Yeah, it's scotch, man. What you, you know? drinking, Dr. Normal? Oh, well, I don't have the music, but it's uh, some, uh, I don't know how old Lagavulin? this is. Oban. Oban. Yeah. I just thought, you guys were all drinking and I felt left out. So Yeah. It's good to be part of the group. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Let's be all together. Peer pressure. With the... Yeah, it's no fun to be. Drinky, drinky. Away so now from that we're the group. drinking. Oh, it was 113. That was the number of times we we're going to use the F bomb. Well, yeah, I was going to say now that we're drinking, 
um, we can talk about, you know, how do you really feel about Oregon Media Central? <laughs> <laughs> wow, what brought that up? Is it you? No, I'm no. Oregon Media Central. Are you really? No, you're not. Yeah, I am. Totally. No, I really? Yeah. No. <laughs> what the fuck? No. You are. I am. Yeah, I've heard I am. I had this entire blog post that I wrote that I was Oregon Media Central. So we have a great idea. Because it was idea. really funny. And Dr. Earl was like, dude, people are going to take you seriously. Mm-hmm. No, we have a great idea. That. My idea is that next week, everyone posts on their blog, I, I am, am Oregon me. Media Central. Mm-hmm. And do like a Spartacus thing. I am Oregon Media Central. But you Media know what, Central. though? Here's the thing. Here's yeah. the thing. Let me say this. The reason yes. I object to that is because it, when people have done that traditionally and classically, it has been to protect the identity of someone. Like, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Well, I am Batman. Batman. I am Because they're trying to protect Batman. And Batman, worth protecting. What are you suggesting about Oregon Media Central? (laughs) I'm suggesting that if you want to ask people for money, you might want to be more forthcoming with who you are. Yeah, I think the same thing for information. That's um, kind of... Oh my gosh, I just said something kind of, sort of, vaguely not. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Try to... Dr. Arm was like, Kimmy, be likable, reel it in, reel go, it in. Go a half hour into the content for after hours, right? How far are we into but I mean, after hours? You know, uh, never mind. You I'll give you the signal. I'll give you the signal. Oh, you, you did Obama Chia Pet? Obama Chia Pet? Yeah, we did. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> don't bring that up because we've already covered it. We don't have bullet points. You have no, five I mean, bullet points. We have five, none. Yeah. We mm-hmm. have no bullet points ever. I have bullet points for the... Oh, I just scared the shit out of Dr. Normal. He thinks I go into every episode knowing exactly what I'm going to talk about. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Oh, I asked him if they had, like, a a layout for the show. Oh. And he said he's got, like, five bullet points. We used to. I do sometimes if I'm unfamiliar with the territory. Yeah. You know what? Here's the thing. Oh, (laughs) I I would say this is a compliment. I have a compliment. I don't listen to podcasts. Listen to my own podcast. I watch Mean PDX because it's really short, and I like to laugh at Rick. I actually do listen to your show at least twice a week. That's a compliment. From do me, you listen live. High praise. I don't listen live only because I'm walking home from dropping my kid off at school, which is why I'm so eager to have the iPhone. Stream. Yeah, I was going to say, did we even talk about the iPhone no, integration? It, well, because he said it didn't stream? know if it was working. Because okay. I, I would really because this is what happens. Eight o'clock, I drop my kid off. And then I could turn my iPhone on. I'm on the road. And so. listen on my way home. Because yep. I walk, which is, you know, I'm a healthy Oregon mommy lady. It's yeah. exciting. I, I think, you know, I think. And uh, I can listen to, like, people, Michael Vick, Profanity, Timbers. Yeah, right. Michael Vick. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what? What? I'm not even sure where that came from. Yeah. That was somebody emailed and said, hey, what do you think about this? I'm like, oh, I'm trying not to. Mm-hmm. You already covered it. Yeah. Several weeks ago, yeah. It I mean, wasn't several right. weeks ago was it? You, you might as it well was join several PETA. days ago. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, really. No, I think you, you have to be a vegetarian. <laughs> I think you have to be a vegetarian to join PETA. Okay. Well, whatever. I like. We won't trash PETA animals. here because those people scare Actually, me. That's not true. I don't really like the little. I like the large animals. But you do. You like dogs them. and cats and stuff. Oh yeah, dogs and cats. And well, you do not like Michael Vick. No, I do not like Michael Vick. Michael Vick's an asshole. Well, when you, when you're digging up body, you know, you know animal bodies on torture. your property. He it's tortured kind of a little animals. Bit like, hmm. Tortured them. Tortured. Yeah. Tortured. There's yeah. really no other way to say it. He tortured animals. We, uh, yeah. Let's skip. Move along. Yeah, because this got into it. A just whole... gets upset me. Gets upset me. Yeah. It upsets me. It whole gets me thing upset. About that. Upsetting we'll, it is. We'll, we'll tell you later about the conversation like we had in the car. <laughs> well, because there was a whole, you know, uh, I don't want to get into it. What we're else done. we got? Move along. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Show's clink over. Up, clink up, move down, move down, clink up, clink up. No, I mean, down. so the thing is, is you're getting emails mm. from, uh, uh, from folks, which means you're doing who are right. asking you what the hell with PDX FM? You have a responsibility, young Mister Robert Wagner, as a journalist. Yeah, how's that working out for you? I like that. That's cool. I didn't realize I was a journalist. <laughs> See, apparently Do you, you have don't journalistic ha- integrity. No. Okay. I don't even know what that is. I mean, basically, journalistic te- journalistic integrity means what? That what does it mean? What no, does it I don't mean think anybody you? knows. I mean, that's that's just it. You, you make your own version of that when you do whatever it is you're doing 
but the no i think in, i think traditionally journalistic integrity did mean something and it was something specific and it was not to eat your own thing and i think nowadays uh there's very little true journalism and just a lot of shock media yeah yeah people that tell a story for for no other reason other than to say hey this is this is our take on this yeah which i suppose that's what we're doing but it's just it's an opinion it's just i'd be talking to a wall at eight o'clock in the morning and that would be fine. I just happen to put a microphone up in front of it. And but your goal isn't to inform. Your goal is no. to entertain. Yeah. 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 That's the difference. Their goal is to inform, but with their own twist on things. Yeah. But if you're doing, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm wrestling with this definition because we do interviews here and we're not journalists at all. Same thing, right? Mm-hmm. ABE. But, but still, you're doing interviews with people. You're getting info from the source. You know, where does journalism stop? And I don't know if I'm going to piss off all our journalist friends who are doing a lot of seminars and things and trying to figure out online media. But the thing is, is that you're, you've got all of this content and, you know, this guy going over here and interviewing his neighbor and then posting it online. You know, where this blurs the whole... Uh, journalism and then the whole uh that's a late night talk show that's story. not news that's entertainment it's still it's infotainment yeah yeah but if you if you look at somebody like you know david letterman okay well, so he right. does a top 10 list probably a bad example right now considering what's going on with him but um top <laughs> was, 10 list i was actually proud of him i was too i i just i thought a lot of people took it. it the wrong way that you know whatever he fucked some ladies yeah you know, they were legal. It was okay. You know, did they make a bigger paycheck because of it? Well, we don't know. But I, I have a confession them. to make, by the way. You, you had sex with ladies? Them too? I'm currently <laughs> fucking people who are responsible for this podcast. Yeah, but there's a difference. That particular individual is not in your employ. We could uh-huh. maybe work that out. Oh, do I get a paycheck now? That might be kind of I would dirty. Be willing... Like if I, if I left some cash on I the table after to we were done. I receive a paycheck. Will you dress yeah. up? Mm-hmm. I always dress up. That's all it takes. Can I get here. a paycheck? Can I get a job? Can someone pay me to do this shit? Oh yeah. I don't think this went where you wanted it to go. That's so where, that's where no. the sponsors come in. Exactly. So the sponsors, I'd be in the sponsors. And hello, sponsors. Yeah. No, I don't want to. Mm-hmm. I'll leave some cash on the uh, it, on the it, table over there. It better be a decent amount. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> You let me know if you need more or less. <laughs> oh. So where were we? Journalistic integrity. Yeah. I have none. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't want any. But I mean, so that's we're... not true. I don't. I don't like it when people lie. It, here's the challenge. There's I my, have. There's my bo- there's my baseline for the journalistic yeah. integrity. I don't want people to lie. But here's the challenge I have. We're doing technically what's happening in media today. Ish. Right. right? Uh-huh. No, not ish. I mean. We're, it's the 21st century right. now, guys. Get over it, right? Right. Um, I think the 21st century is a very ish kind of place, though. Yeah, but, uh, you know, so PD, pdx.fm mm-hmm. will continue to survive uh, as mobile grows, as everything grows. This is where, I mean, you could launch a news channel on pdx.fm. Yeah, what's interesting you know, about that though is is that we have a lot of listeners for PDX sucks, not so much for PDX FM that I know of anyway, but that email us all the time and say, "Hey, I used to live in Portland and now I live in New Hampshire, and I love your show because it helps me keep in touch with the Portland I remember." I'm like, well, that's kind of cool. And mm-hmm. uh, we have a guy, and I know there was a guy that actually that just wrote. I think it was last week. He was in somewhere in Colorado, and he said, "Well, it's just nice to know what's going on back in Portland." Like, wow, really? So you're coming to us to find out what's going on in Portland because you are from here. When you had, you know, coin.com, k2.com, kptv.com, all these places you could go. Oregon Live, I mean, you could try and muddle through mm-hmm. that piece of shit. And and for what? Well, okay, so this is, and I asked him about it. I'm like, well, okay, so why us? Well, simple. You guys, you know, you're the weird Portland I know and love. Wow. Okay. Cool. You know, I, that's a difference between news yeah, and what's actually happening. Yeah. In this is this is you know you're we're the water cooler. Exactly. Discussion. Yeah. Very that's nice that's what you're doing. Well said. Yeah. You know, you're what what are people talking about in this city in the morning around the water cooler? I'm gonna trademark that. But yeah, the um, you're welcome. Yeah. Thanks. Jeez. 
Um, yeah, interestingly enough, when, when you like walk around downtown, you'll see like you know news trucks pulled up, and you know most people around here they just don't seem to care. It's not that big of a deal, right? And it's like, well, right. what is it? It's in front of City Hall. Well, God, what do you think it is? You know? Some, yeah, it's somebody's in there doing something, and you know we don't care. But you're 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 still on that level, though. I mean, in a way, if you show up somewhere like a Timbers game, and people go. Oh, you're Robert Wagner. Your yeah. PDX sucks. Just like they'd say to a DJ or someone who's like doing TV in the local market. It, I, it's like it seems like the lines have blurred a little bit. Well, Are you th- seeing that? yeah, I, I think that the fact that we've defined them so rigidly is kind of interesting too, though, because I have this this notion that you know why is it so surprising to big media that it's dying when radio hasn't been around that long in the whole scheme of things. Right. You know, Hollywood is really, hasn't been around that long well, at all. Next to printing, right? Yeah. And so... Yeah, but printing's... I mean, we've talked ad nauseum about printing on the show. Right. Printing's going then in tubes, too. Oh, yeah, faster than... Well, not not as fast as radio is, but... Well, it's not the content that's going down the tube. No, it's not the content, it's, it's the, the delivery medium. model. Yeah, right. It's the, yeah. You yeah. Know. And I think that it's just, it's so naive to figure that these things aren't going to change over time i like that you use the word change though there's no reason for anything to die yeah no it's just that they need to adapt yeah i mean that's where you know what you guys do here versus what we do is kind of a an interesting way of making things work because when you think about it radio was around television was around Mm -hmm. they got along really really well and made a lot of big companies big stinky ugly companies a lot of money for many years but the reality of it was, is they played well. They played nice together. Mm-hmm. And there's no reason that in what we do in podcasting, it can't be the same way. You know, I know that there's a lot of, but and that's where on the flip side of that, the radio people typically don't seem to get podcasting. It's like, well, why would you want to hear it later? You know, what if you skip the commercials? Well, hell, if I took the average radio broadcast, I'd have to cut out, what, 55 minutes of every hour in order to get actual content. There are some, though. There are a few. I I started drafting a blog post. Oh my god, because I don't blog. Yeah, I did where, that for you. Yeah, no, I need to work on that. Um, but you know, and that was the whole thing. You know, we're out there going, look, you can do this, you can do that. This is what you should be doing. And there are a few people in our market where you know you can go, oh wow, there's a radio show, and they post the entire podcast. They post additional material. That you don't even get on the radio because you'd have to listen through all the commercials and the crap and the garbage. That's yeah, but going that's on. not that doesn't say anything for radio. That says something for podcasting. They're making it available oh, in the I podcasting agree. medium, not they, in the radio medium. You mean like my, like my, Port and Fat Boy? Right. My yeah. point is they get it. Right. Yeah. They actually there are some people who actually get it. But I still don't think that speaks you know? necessarily well of radio because, like I said, it's taking that radio medium. Right. And chopping it up and saying, okay, but it's more enjoyable this way. Well, who wants to listen to what's actually being broadcast on the radio? You'd rather just go to the, the podcast. The last time I, I listened to the radio, know. we talked about this on the show the other day, was 10 years ago? Right. 12? No, I listened to it the other day because, um, well, Emily from the Meat Show was going to be right. out talking about Bacon Fest. Mm-hmm. And... But you listened to it because you wanted to hear Emily. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, I turned it on at, I think, quarter to six, because she was supposed to be around, she was supposed to be on right around then, mm-hmm. and literally from quarter to six to about 6.02, 6.03, it was nothing but commercials. Right. I mean, just the entire time. Did you buy a new mattress, Robert? No, no. I, in fact, okay. I couldn't even tell you what any one of them were, you know? <laughs> a used car, perhaps? No, I'm not getting a new car. I'm not getting... Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, and, you know, of course, then they have her on, and that lasts all of about, you know, a minute. And then bingo, right back in the, And here's Soundgarden. Yeah, you know, exactly. Yay. Woo. Yeah, God. Is Soundgarden I could still making music? No. I'm so bad. No. I don't know anything. No, I... that's that's half the joke right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, see, made, yeah. I don't know because I don't listen to the radio. I listen to the bands that I like and bands that maybe They're on my... your iPod. Exactly. Mm-hmm. If you're going like, to listen to I just downloaded a, a, a Me First and a Gimme Gimme's album because you know. I like them. But how'd you find out about them in the first place? I was at a strip club. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> they played they played a song at a strip club that was by me first. Thinking so you go to a strip club and you go, hey, wait, what's the song? 
Well, it I wasn't funny. The stripper go, wasn't hey, dancing. Hey, look, Alex is red. No, the stripper, it was up at the bar, and, like, no one was dancing, and the, the bartender was playing me first in the Gimme, 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 Gimme album. A likely um, story. No, I'm okay. Which one? It was, God, I'm trying to do some math here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Math involving strip clubs? Math involving yeah, exactly. strip clubs. Um, no, involving the, I can't remember what it was called. And I don't drive, and so I never know where anything is. So and it was like, I'm guessing, let's see. Union Jacks? It was not a Union Jacks. Whatever. Although Union Jacks would seem like a good place to hear me first in the Gimme Gimmies, right? Whatever. No, it was some little place that Mary's was like, club sometimes it was a strip club, and sometimes it was like a venue for like little bands. And they were playing me first in the Gimme Gimmies behind the counter, and I can't remember the name of the club. All right, I don't whatever. think it's a strip club anymore. It's probably had like three iterations since then. But as far as I think Union Jacks is so, but the a point, premium place. The point that Robert's asking is where do you first get exposed to new bands? Yeah, right. that's where that's one thing that the radio used to do really well. Yeah. They um, don't at all anymore. Now it's just through social networking, really. People talk about music that I like if it's something I'm interested in and I listen but to. But boy, it. yeah, that's just it. It has to be a it's, really It's you know, it's all really about tagging things. Station, it's all about tags. Right? It's all about tags. If you something's tagged the same way as some other music you like, you'll listen to it. But, right, you know, it. I mean, there have been good stations in the past that would turn you on to good new music, but those, no. those, they don't was exist Was it when I first anymore. moved to Portland? What Did was I? that? Like, I used to, NRK, I used to listen to NRK. I don't know. Something. Like a long time ago. And then. I mean, was... where, where do you listen to new music, Robert? I mean, where, where do you pick it up? It's all word of mouth. Yeah. At all, it, it, word of mouth or word of blog? Well, is it, it Twitter is. or Facebook? Uh, it'd be Twitter or, or just, just social networking? Um, you know? Twitter a little bit. Mostly just people going, hey, check these guys out. Yeah. Uh, and it's weird because I don't even think about asking them where they find out about it anymore. Not at all. And it's that's I think that's the killer part of radio is, is that you... I went through this whole phase of growing up with the whole thing and, and thinking, wow, this is like... I mean, I lost my fucking virginity to radio. And that's gone now. Now it's like, well, yeah. We, Did hey. you really, though? Yeah, seriously. What was playing? When I lost it? Yeah. Yeah. Like it was what just song? one song? What are you saying? Come on. No. Well, no. At the <laughs> beginning, at the beginning, baby, one song's playing when it starts. Was oh. it, I don't remember what song was playing when it starts. I remember there was, was Judas Priest involved. Was it the AM though. Judas Priest? radio yeah. cut? You know, two minutes? and. <laughs> I believe that I there was a, a CD or a tape being played when I lost my virginity. Hey. I was I on a low up. budget, so yeah. It was in a car that something didn't work. It was work. a big deal when I lost mine. Did you lose good. your virginity in a car, Cami Chaos? No, I did not. Oh, okay. In a hotel room. I wonder. You, somebody <laughs> I needs to do a I am such poll. a cliche. It was not during prom. <laughs> during whole what? No, I said someone needs to do a poll, and then I thought that's quite a pun. So you were in a car. A poll. Were yeah. you in a car? Is I, that was what in you a said? car. I was in I a was car. I was in a hotel room, Doctor Normal. Car. A car. Definitely a car. Yeah. I wonder. I'm an excellent I was going to say, what if it's a guy thing? But then I realized, you know, you can need two parties. Well, Sometimes like it's a guy and a guy. Sometimes come it's a home girl and go, girl. hey, mom and dad, we're going to fuck in the living room. So if you don't mind, can you? Uh, was it your car? I never had sex in my oh, living yeah. room ever. Oh, uh, it wasn't my car. Oh, really? Oh, no. was it her car? It was her car. Oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, she was 18. You were old, man. That's awesome. I was, I was quite a few years younger. She yeah. thought I was older than I was, but. That's the best way to roll. It was, yeah. Was it your car, Dr. Normal? Yeah. Yeah. I think we covered We that. got done, and yeah, she went and delivered newspapers. Nice. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, I nice. thought. I got a free newspaper out of it. She was a nice girl. I wonder if I, so I journalism wonder if I isn't all that bad, actually. That's Maybe that's where I got it, yeah. 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 She well, was part of that whole industry. Good for journalists. And print media. Exactly, print media. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. Was it good? Oh, I don't remember what the stories were that day. Usually the first time <laughs> is like you're... <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it was it was not bad. She kept asking questions the entire time, though. She was really insecure. I'm just kind of like, could you just shut up? You know, it's like, <laughs> I, I, I thought I was time, supposed to be the, the one with the insecurities. The first time is different for a man than it is for a woman. It doesn't hurt the guy the first time he has sex. You know, I don't, well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it what, is true. A guy Unless she's doing it really, really wrong. The first time. Because the older woman tells, because there's a lot of mystery when you're young and yeah, I mean, you could read stuff out of books all you want. You know what? No, no, no. Not necessarily like an older woman, but a more experienced woman. It's like playing a, a fine violin. You know, you kind of need to know your way around and what's going on. So. Are you comparing me with a fine violin? No, I'm talking about the woman. 
No, in this Chase case, Winston. I was more the fine violin than she was. I really? Thought, oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, she was like a fucking butcher or something. Just... <laughs> Do, Do you it. like that? Do you like that? Yeah. That just made the yeah. highlight real, yeah. by did, the way. Do my kisses actually, actually? <laughs> Thank you. She actually said to me, she asked me at one point, I remember this very well. She said, do my kisses blow you away? Oh, God. And I thought, uh, you thought I am, to what? I am never going to have sex with you again. I'm just going to do it this once. With Robert? No, with the oh. woman. That... <laughs> wow. Wait a minute, but you, I don't employ you. Can't wait to see this. Yeah, I know. I've never had sex. You know what? Central. Wait, wait. This is important. This is an important thing. I have never had sex with a man named Robert. Well, not cool. Me neither. Yeah. I'm just saying because it's my dad's name that creeps me out. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That's, yeah. Oh jeez. See? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kip yeah. either, not Kip. Kip? No, no I've never had sex with a Kip either. Yeah, you're lucky. Oh. So want to hear what? I mean, how many men have you had sex with? I mean, and what were their names? Um, actually, I, no, I've refrained from sex. I've only ever gone to first base with another mm. man. There you go. Yeah. They'd really have to. Do you remember how much the, the song that was playing at the time? No, but I remember where. <laughs> um, there was a, actually quite a few times at one particular bar in Seattle. I've yet to actually have relations with another man in Portland. Which kind really? of surprises me, yeah. I actually haven't been drinking as much since I've lived here, though. I think that's probably that could be part of it. Really, we can we can well, fix yeah, that. I, I'm, yeah. You're not yeah. having relations with Robert. Yeah. What? No relations. Yeah, not the today, two of man. You. No, it's. No. No, I'm just saying. Friday night at yeah. midnight. You have right a lot now. of work to do. Wink, wink. Yeah. Nudge, nudge, nudge. Wait, wait, no. Wink, wink is fine. Nudge, nudge means I get laid. No. Oh. Where were we? I don't know. I have no oh, idea. Asia, the band Asia. They remember wore too Asia? much lip gloss. Remember the super band from all those Didn't guys? Didn't they wear too much lip gloss? And... Heat of the moment. Oh, yeah. oh, oh wow, yeah. wow, wow, wow. Huh? huh? That's better yeah. mind. You got another yeah. thing coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great yeah. tune. Yeah, Great I tune. It. I think better than breaking the that. law. Actually, I think we used to cover that when I was in the rock band. Really? He yeah, was in Tokyo. I think that was one of the covers. He he wore lip gloss and had <laughs> lots was, of hairspray and spandex. Dude, this was like 25 years ago or something. I really? Mean, this was like, yeah. This is crazy. I'm crazy old. You See, are. I don't listen to new music anymore. I plateaued. I think you've, you I think you've had age, a bad like, effect on me and my music listening. Yeah. You're you like, I don't want to hear what those I kids am. are listening to. Yeah, what is this Almost the coal train. God damn it. You know? You know, to be fair, I brought a whole new like level of punk listening to your musical record. Well we both so oh this is the part of the show where we talk about us and you sit there and you laugh and you this is the Merv Griffin part. You guys are Woody, yes. Yeah. (laughs) Where we say that Um, I made Dr. Normal listen to punk music because I am young and hip. No. That's not true. No, we had and then had a very um I liked the really old school First generation punk bands, mm-hmm. and I and like so punk you. bands as long as not they're like not the crappy. Third generation, I don't like kids the crappy, punk, like with know? the with the. You know what? When punk boys started you asked wearing me, and lipstick, I said I love black. Flag. I stopped I listening. I was flag. like, no, if you're gonna wear makeup, I'm not gonna talk to you. Yeah, I so don't like boys in makeup. You guys don't have like Blink One Eighty Two albums then? No, no. that's we good. do not. That's good. No, no. And I went. She to went school to school with with Papa Roach. Papa Roach, and, and we don't have any of their albums either. And Green Sorry, Day Jacobi. or whatever those guys are. I did not go to school with Green Day. We used to throw beer cups at Green Day. All right, whatever. You need to get the distinction. I don't know. I don't know anything. They're odd. Not a big fan. What's yeah. What's your favorite band? Favorite band? Oh man, that would be like picking one. You um, get I three. Like a, you get three. I, I think Iggy Pop would be. Huge oh, oh very nice. Iggy. Would be CD. huge. Mm-hmm. Um, That's good. Yeah. Probably the Stones. Okay. And probably the Ramones. That's they, good. See, That's nice. We share, a, I think we're all Dr. in Normal, there. What are your three? Today. I mean, tomorrow I they mean, might be different. Well, Yesterday. Punk bands, you need. The Ramones would definitely be your, one yeah. of your favorites, yeah. Um, But if, with me, it's hard because I have all the whole jazz thing and all that stuff. Yeah. Jazz punk? Yeah. Oh, jazz yeah. punk blues and and old school country I, not like so i do not, want to like, say one crap thing, country and that is that uh uh you guys pdx you know pdx sucks did turn me on to one local band that i really did like and mm-hmm. that is the target for tomorrow guys. oh yeah yeah they're really good yeah those guys are great yeah. they actually um 
We saw they were at Bacon Fest. Yeah. They were amazing at Bacon Fest. Yeah, I can't. You know, I've asked those guys a few times now. What do, what do I call this? What would you prefer I called it? And they just kind of go, I don't know, just call it something. And it's like, well, God, sometimes it's like seventies porn music, and sometimes it's like right. It's like got punk elements, and sometimes it's like soundtrack music, and sometimes it's like watching Hawaii Five O, and mm-hmm. sometimes it's just like pop. But yeah, there's it's they're really great as far as number one, I mean, just great musicians, great people, but they're really good at keeping things different. And I'm glad to see, especially after Bacon Fest, just how into it people can get because I didn't know if it was something that just I saw in them or you know, as we've been to a couple shows of theirs, one of them wasn't really well attended but it was also i think like on a sunday night or something it's a tough night yeah yeah and you go no. with church in the daytime you go out and see a band or whatever it's really hard i'm to get very into churchy it. yeah it's what we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. yeah but no they people just really get them mm-hmm. you know really get them yeah I, they um they reminded me of a band from back in the day probably God knows. Back, back in, in the, the day 80s. when shit was real and you were hardcore. Well, there was a band called Crazy Eights. Uh, I in remember. Portland. Them. Yeah, they're v- vaguely kind of a breakout band from the Northwest. And uh, there's a little element of Crazy Eights and what they do, kind of a ska horn band. Mm-hmm. But then, but then they break out into the porn funk and yeah. all that. So porn funk. So that was. I mean, but see, I'm I'm a listener to PDX sucks. So when you come to me and say, hey, this is what I found, and I like this, I'm going to share it with you, there's a way to gain an audience there. We were talking about radio yeah. earlier, mm-hmm. and how do you listen to new bands? Mm-hmm. Well, I discovered a new band on your show, on your podcast. We're trying to do another one, too. And actually, it's because of um, Target for Tomorrow that I actually found these guys. And it's weird. Um, we saw them on a bill with them at uh, the Hawthorne. And they're... <laughs> When we, we were actually watching them, I really didn't like them at all until they played their last song. And I just, I realized, I finally got it. It was like, wow, you guys are really, it's like they're so stupid, they're good. And it's like they're not taking anything seriously. And it was because I didn't hear any lyrics at all. And it was hip-hop, you know, it was like white hip-hop stuff. So, mm-hmm. and which normally I'm not too into. Right. But I like it when it's clever and kind of, um, I don't know, original. Right. It doesn't take itself seriously. Mm-hmm. And so these guys were, were pretty good when it came to that. They had a song that was like kind of the debate over whether or not man actually landed on the moon. <laughs> and it was cool, though. I mean, because it was just so, you know, um, kind of dumb college guy argument, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, what the fuck? We landed on the moon. No, 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 dickhead. We didn't land on the moon. You know, and it was just like this back and forth thing that really just, it was like, wow, this is actually kind of cool. I went to their, you know, and it was like, I went to their website. Bingo. Here's the buy our album. It's $5. You know, oh, load it yeah. into your iPod. And it's like, well, shit, yeah, I'll buy it. You know, well, you know, because I haven't, you know, really bought a CD. And, well, I haven't bought a CD in, God, 10 years. But Hey, isn't it amazing how cheap music can be when you cut out the middleman of A&R and the major oh, yeah. record labels? Yeah. And hello, and now I'm, and this five bucks is going to the band. Um, amazing. I was talking to, and I hope they watch this. I hope, actually hope they watch this. I'll tell them to watch this. I was talking to one of the guys from Target for Tomorrow at Bacon Fest. And I said, so what's it going to take for you guys to get your crap on iTunes? And he goes, well, we can't do it. And I'm like, well, why can't you? And he says, well, because it costs so much money. To put it on iTunes? To put it on iTunes. I go, what do you <laughs> no, mean? No, it doesn't. And he goes, well, yeah, we figured out it'd be like 40 bucks. I'm like, what the fuck? I'll give you fucking $40, man. $40? <laughs> $40. Hmm. I'll give you so 40. my I'll soul and give my arm and give every ounce of blood I ever have. Or 40 bucks. What will it be? Yeah. You know, I'll give you $40. Yeah, that's not what it used to cost to make an album. Well, you after, just say. You know. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to go back and figure out where do you get forty dollars? You know, what am I missing? Yeah, I you mean, know, because I mean, I'll spot you forty bucks, kid. That's okay. Dude, it's free to put a podcast up on iTunes. Oh, put yeah. up a WordPress site or something. You know, that'll cost. How does you... it cost to put on iTunes? No clue. I am confused. <laughs> well, you actually have to sign some kind of weird form and fax it back to them. I think if it's actually, uh, you know, like a sound recording that's um, being sold. Oh, commercially if you're, versus if giving you're it away, charging yeah. for it. I see. That yeah. makes sense. Well, there's also the, the model, and we have a friend we're going to talk to um, pretty soon. Um, 
who's a pretty uh, really accomplished jazz musician like John. and that is the whole like the podcast model mm-hmm. where musicians go out and do their own podcast um i think back in your old venture you actually had a guy doing sax or something like that on one yeah. of your radio <laughs> yeah, yeah. channels but i mean it, 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 you know the jonathan colton uh, model where you know you release a song a, a week and you do a podcast. Well, they're and, doing that right now you know, with um, the I duo, what, chronic, duo, duo duo chronicles. chronicles. Once a week, John and yeah. Clay are releasing something on the WordPress site. Yeah, and it brings people to your music and then brings people to your show. But shows John Nasta your, still does not have an album. album. Out. Well, John, maybe he will. Are you listening to me? You still don't have an album out, really? Seriously, I'm the only person on the planet with you on my iPod. <laughs> not acceptable. But um, the idea being then that you'd like download a podcast a week until you right. have an album's worth of, or just forever, really. Well, I think that's what Jonathan, is it Col- Colton? Do you know what I'm talking about? I've heard the name. The guy who kind of did the geeky music and hangs out with the, I'm a PC guy. What's his name? They're best friends. Sorry. The guy from, this is where John Dr. Stewart. Normal has a stroke right now. It's like, can't remember. <laughs> oh, um, Hodgman, look, I really Hodgman. don't have time yeah. to call 911 right now, so yeah. now I'm okay. having a stroke. Yeah. But, uh, you know, that's an interesting model. But you're giving it away for free, so you have to have some sort of well, you know, hey, financial model. If you're dealing with a major label, you're doing worse than giving it away for oh, free. So, yeah, giving it away for free is actually a good thing. Yeah, I mean, you're... <laughs> I, I think it's amazing that people went out and defended the record companies when they realized, you know, do you know what that contract says for a musician? It's essentially indentured servitude. You're you selling sign, your soul. You sign for a bundle of cash, which is startup money, mm-hmm. to make your record. And then you're indebted to the company into like your third or fourth album. And oh, by the way, usually your second album's going to tank. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? And, and if you tank, that's okay because it's a write off for the record company anyway. Yeah, the record enough. company is not screwed. You are. Yeah, yeah. They, they wouldn't do anything to screw themselves. The yeah. last time I bought a lot of music was in 2000 when I was first using Napster. Mm-hmm. And I was a little bit late to that party, but I mean, I I probably bought, shit, 60 CDs in that year. I mean, it was at least one a week. And it was because I was constantly going to Napster and going, wow, that's good, I'll buy that. Wow, that's good, I'll buy that. Mm-hmm. You know, he, these guys have two great songs. I'll buy the album. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll buy the CD. They took that away, started labeling me as a criminal and whatever. And, you know, hey, that's that. Yeah. I never trusted them again. Never so, got back. So again. you were downloading the music and then you were buying the yeah. CD. Wow. Yeah, Imagine go figure. That. that worked. Advertising. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, on iTunes, they do the same thing from time to time when they're allowed to with TV shows. I don't, I don't actually have, um, like, cable TV. Yeah, I have, we. yeah, I have like Apple TV, and that's it. That's I mean, if we, it's, we have Apple TV and Hulu, and yeah. we're all on and Apple Hulu. TV. You can listen to PDX sucks mm-hmm. on Apple TV. You can watch Strange mm-hmm. Live on mm-hmm. Apple TV. Yeah, so the shows I do like, I mean, I end up buying them just so I don't see commercials and so I don't have to, you know, be here at eight o'clock on a Tuesday or whatever. Mm-hmm. But they'll do the free episode thing. I hate it when they store them up there and they won't release the season until it's over. Yeah. You mean like when they don't like let you buy the whole thing? No, when they won't let you see any of the episodes until the season is over. Oh, yeah, yeah, like HBO does that yeah, a lot, Yeah, HBO too. does that. I think yeah. it's True yeah. Blood that I'm talking about. I'd really like to see everyone's like, oh, my God, this happened. I'm like, okay, yeah, one of my you. real weaknesses, vampire TV show, Cammy <sighs> must have that. Vampires. Dr. Normal. I'm a girl. There's been enough vampires. I have no pigment in my skin. I have black hair. I wear red lipstick. What do you, Are you expect saying you're from a vampire? Me? No, I'm saying that I like vampire television shows. We could make podcast history right now. I don't like, like blood. Jump on Robert. I don't like blood, blood, and I don't like to suck on people's blood. And I He's like had it. a few drinks too, so it would be like a bloody man. It'd be thin. Mm. Yeah, it'd be like yeah, just it'd just go right tasty. out. No, I'm not a vampire. I just enjoy, enjoy <laughs> vampire television. Great. No, I was watching. Uh, what's that comedy they have? The musical comedy thing that I can never remember. Glee. No. Uh, no. Oh, Flight of the Concords. Oh, yeah, I've never up. seen that. I have no idea what that is. Never heard of it. Flight of the Conquerors? I thought it was like a wine <laughs> documentary. Yeah, hey, it's what? these it's these two guys. They're like a folk duo or something from um, New Zealand, I think. Mm-hmm. And they're just like living in New York hmm. for no real reason. It's great. It's a great show. 
Yeah. Um, a lot of the references, you'd, you'd appreciate a lot of it. I would? Oh, yeah. Because I'm old. He's no, old. because you, okay. you're He's interested old. in that kind of thing. He's oh, old. okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's your, your elderly stature. Yeah, yeah. It has nothing to do with Cause it. Because I quit watching TV back in the 70s, right? You know? Yeah. No. When they canceled Carter Country. You know what? That you watched... <laughs> God. What was that? You watched that last Star Trek show. You actually know what that is, right? It's familiar. I'd yeah. have to that go is, dig in. Oh my god, you're old too. Very obscure. Eh. Very obscure reference. Did you actually watch it? Yes. Oh, did you really? Absolutely. Mm. On the television. If it's an old person's show, Doctor and I watched it. An old person's show? I watched a lot of Lawrence Welk, believe it or not. See, Lawrence Welk, you watched that. Yeah. And people still watch that. Perry Mason. Well, yeah. Perry Mason's still huge, though. Well, it's fucking cool. Yeah, Perry Mason's great. I mean, what, that was... What people other... smoking, drinking yep. martinis, driving big American cars. What other old people What's shows wrong did with you that? watch, Dr. Normal? Hmm? What other old people shows did you watch? Oh, uh, let's not get into that. That's the whole... Uh, did you watch Andy thing. Griffith? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, See, I never got into that. Gomer Pyle. Never got into that either. Uh, Gilligan's Island. Yeah. That there I was liked. like one season of that, Star right? Trek. The original series. You watched Star Trek and then the other Star Trek and then the other Star Trek. Yeah, but and I was then, an adult by the time the next And then you watched the other Star Trek out. and then the other one, too. I'd be drinking martinis when we'd watch you Captain You didn't Picard drink martinis. Go fuck some planet up because he was a bastard. You know Oh, what? no, that was the other guy. Thank you. Who was the other guy? Let's say nice things about Captain Kirk. Picard. Kirk was the like one that Kirk. went to fuck up the planets and the ladies. Dude, everyone went, all, every How kid wanted to be out? like Captain Kirk. Yeah, what it's would like, you want I'm going to fly my big ass fucking starship. I'm going to blow S- some shit up and fuck somebody. Yeah, screw aliens. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he had a good. What's wrong with that? Yeah, he had a real good. That's actually, that's why I've not watched any of the other Star Treks. Yeah. Just I liked because... Next Gen. I don't know as if I've ever seen. I've seen the movies. I've seen really? every movie based on this on that cast. I don't think I've ever seen the show. The there were Star a few Trek good Next episodes. Generation? Yeah, I liked their gratuitous wow. use of the holodeck. Yeah, that's really weird. So you missed they LeVar Burton the movie. and all that. No, there was much more gratuitous use of the holodeck oh, in it? the TV show. Well, that's how they do. And the... then they dealt with holodeck um, addiction. That's yeah, kind of yeah, how they yeah. did the time travel thing from the first Star Trek, though. It was kind of like, well, we need to put them in the old west for. Oh, yeah. Week. So, yeah, with them, Old it was always West, some kind of man. time travel thing or some interdimensional, whatever it was. I like the wow. Mark Twain. I like the Mark Twain episode. Yeah. Of Next Gen. See? Yeah, you're see, I, know, I have no idea what you're talking about. See, I know Robert's younger than I am, so that surprises me. Uh, by a bit. So that surprises me that you were a Nick, you were a original Trek guy. I don't, you know, what's weird is I can't recall why I liked it. I mean, not, I, mean, I know <laughs> why I liked it, <laughs> I but I mean, why I, like I don't know it. why it was I was shitty. exposed to it. I mean, was it your dad? No, he was hated it. We really? hated it. Oh yeah, he totally hated Maybe it. Maybe it was rebellion. That was um, my parents loved it actually. Really? Yeah. Really? My dad from Germany. I could see loved your dad enjoying it. I can't oh, see your mom really that into track. Like, no, I can't know. for the life of me figure out why I was exposed to it. I know that I had a doll at one point of Kirk. Nice. Aww. And thought that was cool. Was he anatomically correct? I don't know. He had pa- he had actual pants. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. He pants. Had like sh- yeah. Pants do not make anatomical. No, but I mean, I never took them off is what I'm getting at. He wasn't like an action figure where it's like all you plastic molded. You Because look, I got this action figure, and oh, if I could take Lord. his pants off and check to see if he was anatomically correct, I would. Yeah, see, action figures just aren't cool anymore. No, they're not. No. Back Dr. Romo, I didn't even say the name of the Were you a big figure. Star Wars fan? make you feel better? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, not like huge or anything, but I mean, at the time, definitely. I mean, I don't carry it with me to this day kind of a thing. I, mean, I went and saw like the the new trilogy when it came out. Ugh. Loved it. Ugh. See, really? I, yeah, I didn't. You, it didn't bother me at all. You I, liked the new one. It was weird. I felt like. Um, Were you drunk? No. Probably. Oh no, it God. was weird. I went and saw it on a whim, just totally on a yeah. whim. I saw, hey, the Star Wars is playing. I'm going to go here and just get this over with. See, I watched this is the, one, two, and three. Yeah, I watched the first oh. of the new trilogy. I took my roommate's daughter to go see the first of the new trilogy, and I was able to enjoy it from the perspective of watching my friend's daughter enjoy it. Yeah, but. It was crappy, and the other two <clears throat> were crappy. I didn't like the little kid. No. Yeah, for as much as people hated Jar Jar Binks or whatever, it was the little kid I couldn't stand. No. Well, he was like really dull. Yeah, he was irritating as hell. Yeah. I liked um, Ian McGregor. I thought yeah, was yeah. Cool. yeah. Okay. I liked all the stuff with Ian. Granted, McGregor. he was like. He was. He was although awesome. I did want him to at some point drop the lightsaber and go choose life. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Talk to normal. 
And that was a terrible Ewan McGregor. That was McGregor. not funny. Let me try that again. I will throw... I, am the I will throw David Tennant at Choose you. Choose life. Oh, I gotta... I'll have to add the crash. <laughs> the sound effect. For later. those people who are watching the podcast, there'll be a crash sound effect there. I didn't hit you. I, I'm David behind Tennant a bunch of mirrors. Them. No. Yeah. Normally but I just pretend. Like a penalty in a sport or yeah, something. Yeah. Normally I just pretend to throw things and set it down gently, but yeah. I kind of lost. No, that was that was fun. Who is this guy? David Tennant, oh, Doctor God. Who. Oh, oh Doctor Normal is now upset because I have now mentioned Doctor Who on the show again. Mm -hmm. Is that bad? Um, I am a Doctor Who fan. Oh, you didn't know Strange Up Live is actually the Doctor Who podcast. Hey, we've been talking for like an hour and a half. At I didn't this know point, there was like. We? I didn't know there was. Well, I'm not saying there is a rule against him. I just didn't know that there was a. There is. Doctor Normal has a rule against me talking about Doctor Who on the show. I have a rule against making any podcast that's about Star Wars, Doctor Who, or Star Trek, Are which we've broken. We violated the. I don't know. Do some push-ups. The Prime Directive. There you go. That's nice. Um. Yeah. Seriously, you have me talking for this long. I think I'm over. If you have me That's talking okay. for this long, we're just long, trying to get content in here. Yeah, but if you have me talking this long, I'm bound to bring up Doctor I'm waiting. Who. Yeah, I'm eventually, waiting. at one point. Yeah, to see how long it will take Robert before he has to <laughs> throw up. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no, he'll be here. No, a while. seriously, have we been going for like an hour and twenty minutes now? No, you have no sense of time. I don't. What time is it? We're a little out over an hour, but well, then yeah, we need to end the show. To, it is about time. To Please. End the show. <laughs> Say good night to Robert. Say good night to Doc Normal. Let's let's throw one out to Robert. Anything else? Anything else for anybody out there in podcasting land? Any? Live your dreams. All right. Achieve your goals. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I love that. Yeah. That is uh, really special. That was really I think. nice. Like an after school special. Everybody should do podcast. No, they shouldn't. <laughs> no, I they shouldn't. Beg to differ. I disagree with you. Oh, I disagree with me. Heatedly. Too. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, Robert. My pleasure. Good night, everybody. We'll see you next week with Will Rabbit.